Ladies and gents, I apologize for my absence. To cut a long story short, ulcerative colitis, yeah. pre ib for tests, had IB for, came back more tests, colonoscopy, suppositories. I've had more things up my ass than Philip Schofield in his ITV dressing room. <laughs> we'll talk more about that at a later date, but I feel like I'm on the mend. I feel like I'm on, I feel like we're a little better. But like I said, we'll discuss more about digestion and what's going on in that department at a later date. We got Rome. Did I tell you I'm going to Rome? I've got Rome next week on Friday. And it, I've got enough stuff, but I need to get a few more little bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go into London on this fine sunny Sunday. Go Zara, get a few bits from Night Town and Gymshark as well. And then we'll come back, give you a little run through of like what I'm gonna be wearing there and also some summer outfit ideas. But first, coffee. Not a black coffee, coffee with oat milk, yeah? Lactose, mm mm. I know, no. I'm one of them now. I ain't even trying to meet myself a wife, ain't trying to meet myself no game, I'm trying to keep myself a right, you know? One of the questions asked on today's Instagram Q&A was, what was my favorite high street brands? I said, Zara is like my go-to. River Island, they're doing some really nice trousers. Reese, Massimo Dewey. And don't sleep on Marks and Spencers either. I feel like they all quite complement each other well if you're going for that like old money sort of look. I want to go night town now because I've got it in my head whenever I start a new phase in the gym, I f for some reason need a new wardrobe. I don't know what, I don't know what that's about. That's a great drink by the way if you ever want a pre-drink. Proper laying calories in that. Luke Johnson has the bowels. They're fine thanks Luke, we're getting there. What's that teeth whitening company you promote? White's Beaconsfield, White's Beaconsfield. A successful shop, I went to Gymshark as well and got their 315. Gymshark shop is a lot better. I went on the opening day and I was a bit like, mm, I don't know, quite know what's going on in here. Went there today, very good. 315, my favorite range. I'm gonna do this, uh, and Stokes, you nearly did it as well. Set up in a nice little boozer called Bonds. Went to Daily Paper, great, nice shop. I'm gonna break this video down into a few different parts. Firstly, what I got from this Novu Care package, thank you for sending that out. I do believe I'm getting a few of their Porto Fino garments as well, but it may be after run. The best thing about this most recent drop is their Lux t-shirts. A game changer, real game changer. As you know, I like a Zara everyday tea. They're like 15 quid, I think. The only downside is you put them in the wash, straight away start to disintegrate. I go through them like Tic Tacs. They start to fray, the neck goes all, it's not pleasant at all. Now I can't comment, because I haven't washed these yet, but I've been well informed that they are very durable indeed. Very luxury feel to them. Very similar to like a Reese number. It's almost like a, not a chamois leather, but it's a, a good luxury material. Very versatile, can wear casual, can wear smart. I've worn the gray with some jeans. I've worn the navy with some white trousers, I've worn the white with some navy trousers. Very versatile, fantastic fit on the arm as well. The David Gandhi, I say that this close competitor would be that the David Gandhi well wear. I wasn't a huge fan, I tried it on in Selfridges. I think he's gone for the, the sailor look. You know how like, it's a little bit too rolled up and a little bit too high up. I don't, when I'm out and about, I don't really like getting too much of my arm exposed. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm sure many of the gym lads watching this can, can relate. I feel like we feel like it's a bit too triad if a lot of arm is out. There's a, there's a fine line between too much arm and, and not enough arm. In the gym like this it's all right, but out and about these are an absolute game changer. So again, if you're struggling, if you're struggling with like a wardrobe, all you need to do is get a couple of pairs of those and then rotate the trousers. It's very simple. A bit of ton set ton. I've spoken about that before. French. Tonal dressing. Got some color as well. The Diego shirt, very, very thin, breathable. Could wear this open with a vest, some nice jewelry. Could wear it done up. White pair of trousers. If you're going on holiday, breathable. It's what you want. Rome is 37 degrees when we're there. I know it's going to be, I think I'm just actually just going to wear a vest. I don't, I'm not ashamed at all. I'll just bang a vest. This is a large. I would have honestly got a size down. I prefer a tighter fit now. I've shrunk a little bit. I'm 82 key. I can't fill out a large as, as well as I used to. I can still get away with it. I've just got to make some corrections, roll the sleeves up a little bit, tighten the back, 
Little trick is if you tighten the back, tuck the back in and fold it over so it's hugging the body a bit more. But again, lovely. Love the uh, design, love the pattern. Anything with like a, an open neck like that, make sure you've got a good bit of jewelry on. I've said before, those that wear open necks without any jewelry just looks a bit odd. On to some of their other patterns. This is the Fabio in the Accru. So the Accru is like a cream color, it's not pure white. I love, I love this sort of detail. This is more of a stiff material as opposed to their Paradiso, which is my favorite one by far, which is a little bit more give. It's a little bit more stretchy. It's just pure white. Lovely. Really, really, really nice. Again, I'm, I'm rolling the sleeves up. This is a large, I could have probably gotten away with a medium, fits a little better. But again, open, closed, fantastic, very, very breathable, very, very light indeed. What I'll do is I'll put on a few of these outfits for inspiration in a second. And then they very kindly set out their swimming trunks as well, which are an absolute game changer. They weren't in stock when I tried to get them for Ibiza. Plan was to wear these with like a, a linen shirt. <clears throat> Honestly, due to the, like, the buckle and the design of these, you could probably get away with wearing them. These nice pair of shoes, sliders, brogues, whatever, tasseled loafers and a, a linen shirt, Mate, you could, you could honestly get away with wearing that out. Because they don't look blatantly like a pair of swimming trunks. Do you know what I mean? I'm half tempted to, on one of the days, like I said, it's 37 degrees in Rome. I'm half tempted to bang a pair of swimming trunks and just a really light linen, linen shirt. That is what we got. We also got some footwear. I'll come onto them in a second. But what we'll do now is jump into a couple of outfit ideas. No idea. Okay, outfit number one, got to go all black with a nice little bit of contrast with the brown sandals slash sliders. The trousers are the Oxford pleated trouser from Novu. If they don't have that in stock, then go for the Porto female in black. Very similar style and design with the buckles on the side. If you don't want to wear a full length trouser, they do an Oxford pleated short in black and the same with the Porto female. Vest is from Zara. Try and get a, a ribbed. Now, if you're, if you're wearing a vest on display, make sure it's got a bit of texture to it. I feel like a plain vest, just a plain black vest is just, it don't look right. Large. And if you've got the bollocks, I mean, you could easily just walk around like this. One night in IB for I, I just wore trousers and a vest because it was quite warm. And a pair of sandals. Maybe get a bit of uh, satchel action, manier de val. Hold all or something like that, but if you've got the bollocks to go about in a vest, then crack on. I'm certainly going to do one night in Rome. Check the temperature, 31 degrees even at 9 pm. If you don't want to wear just a vest, then I've got this from Zara. I've got it in a small. Like I said, I like, I like the, the, the more fitted look if I'm going for this kind of open shirt with a vest underneath. A bit more fitted. I'll put the, the code on the screen, but it was in the sale, so it may or may not be in. Very similar sort of material to the uh, Paradiso from Novu. But there you go, outfit number one. Just nice, chill, little bit of tapas. Very, very relaxed. Very, it's not too smart, but it's smart enough. You know, very, very comfortable. I'll certainly be wearing something similar to this, this week. Outfit number two for when you're kicking about during the day. This is going to be one of my Rome outfits during the day. It's white, a mixture of white and cream. We have uh, the Oxford pleated shorts from Novu. This is a, I don't know the actual word for them, like an open neck polo from Massimo Dui. There's sails on everywhere at the moment, which is fantastic. But it's hot, you want something light, you want something that reflects the sun, not absorbs it, try not to wear black during the day, get very, very hot. But uh, yeah, Massimo, they do a great, they do a great polo. Again, Reese do a really good polo. If you can get, if you can get clothes like that in the sale at these places, go for it. When they're like usual RRP, I just, I don't know, I can't, I can't, I can't do it to myself. Shoes, we have gone for the City Loafer in Sage from Novo. I've got a couple of pairs of these. I've got a black and white pair, and I've got a, a Sage pair like this. Could even. Could, Get some accessories involved for this outfit. Could get a little fedora hat, little little cravat, is that what they call them, around the neck. But uh, yeah, 
nice simple easy breathable airy cool outfit for walking about during the day final outfit and then we'll move on to some shoes and then we'll wrap it up got the trousers from river island these are lovely these these are one of my favorite trousers they're not as uh, rigid or tight as the reese ones but really good just gonna pair a really simple outfit together again contrasting with some brown shoes but we've got the novu Lux t-shirt in navy nice little lunch you know we're going for a little lunch somewhere nice and simple not too not too chop i've got that one back to front i have should we do this thing again or should we just roll with it correct answer roll with it going for a little lunch somewhere not too smart a little relaxed you know maybe a little bit of blue marlin a crab get a crab from brew brew blue marlin Shoes, you could, you could buy any shoes on, you could go them sandals, you could go them, you could go anything you want, you could go them long ones, but nice chilled, bit of, bit of dual action, bit of double navy going on, nice, nice and relaxed, right, let's discuss some shoes. Okay, let's do shoes slash sandals and swimwear, so like I said, the Novu, very nice, these are the sh these are the very shorts that I wore to Ocean Beach in Ibiza. They're from Reese, size small. I'm a 32 inch waist. The amount of colours and varieties of different styles they've got in this particular style of swimming trunk is fantastic. If you like that buckle style, then go for it. Like I said, 32 inch waist. I've got them in a small, fit really nice. I wore this with like a, a button down open shirt from Zara, a cotton shirt from Zara in white. And what shoes did I wear? I think I might have wore my Malant shoes, maybe. Nah, I wore my Louis, my, my sandals, my sliders. But uh, yeah, these, if you want another brand, very similar style, Sink. Sink Swimwear, S-I-N-K. Let that sink in, swimwear. On to shoes, we'll start with the basics. How can you not have a pair of Burks in your wardrobe? I think it's criminal to not have a pair of Birkenstocks in your wardrobe. A fantastic sandal. I've got a pair in brown, light. I've got an all black pair, fantastic. There's nothing more to explain other than they are a Birkenstock. Get them in. The next is a, like a, a slider from June. Now I wanted the Hermes, but they were 570 quid. I'll put a picture here of what I was trying to find and try and uh, incorporate into the wardrobe without spending 570 quid. The old TM cycles would have bought it. You'd have gone, yeah, fuck it, why not? Like I went Louis, when I went Louis Vuitton and bought those flipping Honolulu slide. I mean, it's an investment, they're great. I still wear them to this day. But I thought, I'm not doing 570. That's flights and almost accommodation in Ibiza. So on the hunt for a very similar pair, went to June. I got these in the shop in Portsmouth for about 46 quid. They were on, went to Gun, Gun Wharf, is it Gun Wharf? Portsmouth's sick, mate, I love it, I'm gonna go back. But I think they're about 65 quid online, 45 quid, very versatile, smart. You saw them earlier, fantastic. Got them sized down, so they look more snug. I'm usually a size 10, but I've got them in a size nine and they fit a lot better. Similar story with the Novu. If you're after a smarter shoe, when you're going out, Malont, M-O-L-O-N-T. Malont, they do suede and leather, both buckle and tassel. Fantastic these are. And for what, for the cost for what they are, I think they're brilliant. Very, very nice indeed. Incredibly versatile, smart, casual. I've worn these at beach clubs, I've worn these on nights out. Very, very good indeed. And then we finish with the Novu City Loafer. Got a black pair and a pair in sage. Again, size down, fit a little better. Especially if you go on city breaks, you don't want to be sliding out and getting all, oh, do you know what I mean? So yeah, very, very nice. Again, versatility. Superb, comfy as well, these. I would recommend if you are, these do slice your feet up, but I stupidly didn't wear any socks. So you're probably best going to Primark or any shop really, but Primark gotta go to and getting those socks that just go around the toe and the back of the heel so you can't visibly see them. Don't be wearing fucking ankle socks with this stuff and you can, if you can visibly see you look lower on day release. Don't, just make sure that your socks aren't visible when you are wearing socks or things like that. Okay.
That is me done. Apologies for the absence again. I was just trying to sort this out. But uh, next video will be in Rome. I'm very excited. My New Year's resolution for 2023 was to visit a new place. The last time I went to a new place was Mykonos back in 2000 and God, 19. It's been like three or four years since I've gone to a brand new destination. So I'm very excited for it. My itinerary is sick. Where's my phone? My, well, you'll see it, but my itinerary. Oh, mate, I should sell it. Anyway, look after yourself. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions about any of the clobber, get, get it below and I'll get back to you. Thank you, good night, and much love. Reminds me of my third wife.